G'day, welcome back to Australian Natural High Tanning. Today I want to do something a little bit different. It's still in the long run to do with tanning, but it's building rad rabbit hatches. Now I went to, I've got some rabbits here and I went to buy a rab rabbit hutch and I couldn't get any in Australia. You know, and, and because I live remote, I, I definitely couldn't get anyone to ship them to me. So I thought, well, what am I going to do? Um, and I decided, bugger it, I'll make my own. Yeah, roughly, oh, for a pen of this size, roughly the same. You're going to spend roughly the same, same amount. But what we've got here is I've got uh, a rabbit hutch that I put my females in. You can put a, fe a male in there with it, with it, but just remember, if they're always in there by themselves, it's best to put the female with the male. Because if you put the male into the female cage, she's able to belt him up because he's intruding into, into her territory. But this is for my females and my kits. What I've done here is this is um, 25 mil. So the little squares are 25 mil. And this is a 2.5 by 1200 sheet. No, um, I did this one a little bit different, I've got another one here, I did this one a little bit different, I won't do it the way I did it, again, what I recommend is get your, your measurements of how wide you want it, how long you want it, um, I think this is 600, so yeah, 600, that way when I lean in I can get the plates, you know, the food plates, I can change the water quite easy, it's wide enough for them and it's certainly long enough. Um, so this cage here is 600 by, by 180. Okay, what I do is I make a frame, as you can see the frame in here, and then I make the, uh, I'll cut this, this section out of the wire and I'll frame it up and then I'll cut this section and if you zoom in here you can see what I've done is I've used little clips and I've clipped it together okay I'll show you all the different things you, you'll need it's not a lot of tools but what I do is I drill these together and that way your frame won't fall apart you don't need your frame you just you um, wood frame it just makes things sturdier yeah, and that's what you want you want it to stir you don't want a cage that's rocking around so to put the, the timber in what you can do is you can you can um, you can cut this panel out and then you can cut this panel out and that one you can cut all your panels out okay and then clip them together and leave one section see that the in here I haven't put the floor in yet and what you can do is with that you can build your frame already in there you can, you've got all this all made up I'll make a small one and I'll, I'll, I'll you'll see what I mean but you can make your frame up clip it all together and then make your wooden frame that way when you go to cut your, your wood it's pretty precise it doesn't have to be perfect you know but pretty precise what I do with mine is I've cut a door okay this this one whole frame I've cut one square lot out and what I will do is I've got a piece of timber I'll put that timber I'll drill it here and here I'll drill it twice here twice here this will be another door I'll make this into another door that falls down you can have it fall down or, or fold up it's entirely up to you and that way with this this timber here what I can do I can close it up and I can make a locking system just like I have on the, this cage here what I'll do with this one is I'll actually take this um, this door off I'll take this one off and I'll put this one on I'll put that one on, put it on here, 
then what I'll do is I'll get this and I'll put it on here and that way you prevent snakes coming in and taking your rabbits where we are as I say I'm remote um, we had a, a, a water python come through last week now he was too small to take the chooks of the ducks but for a couple of weeks now we've been losing a lot of eggs and and because we don't collect them you know we might might not collect them say today we'll collect them tomorrow morning and he was eating them you know, having a real good time but we did have one came through um, or oh, about three months ago killed most of our ducks we had about six or seven ducks and, and we ended up with one and he ate the rest he was he was like that he was huge but we managed to um, relocate him you know, you, you, they're only they're only doing what comes natural don't ever kill them don't don't ever kill them they're only doing what's what comes natural either ring a, a, a snake handler up and get them to get rid of it or just put it into a, a bag as long as it's not venomous and you you know what you're doing because if you don't know what you're doing don't touch them because they will bite you um, and just just put them somewhere safe somewhere where they're going to be safe uh, and it's out of harm's way you know, my advice though is to ring up a snake collector um, and get him to come and get it anyhow so what we do is we'll put the the doors here and a door here you want to be able to access your whole um, cage you don't want it locked up so what I'll have to do here is probably cut it about here so as I can drop the whole thing but bring it over and it's still nothing can get in but this is a this is a large one I've got 10 rabbits sitting in here 10 females I don't want that many in that cage so what I'll do is I'll take five of the females here and I'll put them in here I've got to build another cage because I've got a male that I've, I need to segregate so what I'll do is I'll, I'll build a smaller cage and I'll segregate him if you come around here I'll show you the cages I'll just set up so I can show you the cages won't be a moment okay we're back now what I'll do is I'll show you what I do to try and keep everything as clean as possible and the rabbits as happy as possible and what I do with these this all up um, oh look would have cost me roughly $220 to make 240 look 250 and that that's being real generous really really generous but I would I would I think it's around 220 given in account that when I buy a, a sheet of uh, mesh like this 2.5 by, by 1200 um, costs me a hundred and ten dollars you know if you live in a, a, a bigger place um, you might have a Bunnings or, or a rather large Mitre 10 or something you probably get these for around about fifty dollars that's what i used to pay and then suddenly it just jumped fifty dollars i don't know why but up here you know things are hard to get anyhow what i've done here is once again like the um, door i showed you i put the door on and i put the, the mesh that was cut out of there onto the door that way any snake that's big enough to take the rabbits can't get in and that's what I've got to do here I've, I've still got to do more of this I put this here okay that's bird mesh wire that says when they're sleeping the dog doesn't come along and give them a nip or if their leg falls out he doesn't go and say oh look a bit of rabbit so that's that's for their protection what I've done is I've got just a, um, a ring clamp one of those and I clamp it on that way what I do what I do like about this one and that's why I designed it this way is I can open the whole cage up and I can get to anywhere I want if I need to get to this rabbit in here it's no no, no drama you know if I need to get here there's no drama this is the little boy and he's not quite old enough yet and I don't want him breeding with these because it's their brother so I don't know um, so what I'm going to do is make up a cage for him and 
put him in his own cage. But it's rest time for them. Usually they're asleep now. So then all I need to do, lock it up, push it in, lock it up. And at night time, because I'm not here at night time, I get sheets and I let sheets over at the front. Just so as if the dog goes running up and down, it doesn't spook them. This is the one I'm going to show you how to how to operate, uh, how to um, how to make. Very simple. Yeah, just a a wire door. That's all it is. I've kept these on just as a a more of a safety measure for my rabbit. When I have it locked, if the snake decides to come and have a poke around here, it's going to hurt him. This is Pearl. This is my little boy Pearl. He's. Uh, how old are you now, Pearl? Seven, eight months old. So he's at six months, they'll start breeding. The males will start breeding around six, seven months. Females, these are a New Zealand cross Californian. Females around about, um, what is it? Eight, eight to 12 months, isn't it? Yeah, eight to 12 months. So they're, they're, ready, they're ready to start breeding this month. He's not related to them, so he's going to be the lucky boy. But this is this is a, a 900 by 600. All I've done is is use the wire, and I, as I said, I'll show you I'll show you how to build one. Okay, I always put the blocks underneath, so it's easier to clean. I have a um, a stick, or you can have any any stick. It goes under, and just drag it along. This here's where I put all my, my wastage and it's absolutely excellent fertilizer. You know, chook fertilizer, I have chooks. Chook fertilizer, when you, when you um, gather it up, you've got to let it sit for a week. You know, because you might have old stuff there, but you've also got new stuff. New stuff is hot, it may, it's very hot. And usually you've got to turn it, you know, at least once every, you know, two days or something, just turn it over, if you can. This stuff here, you don't need to wait. It just puts straight onto your garden. You know, um, the only thing you have to be aware of is the urea. The urea is a little bit hot. Most important with rabbits, especially up where we are, we get you know, in between 38 and 42 degree days. Check their water. Always check their water. Make sure they have enough. You know, this, this one here, he would drink almost, almost one of those a day. You know, and sometimes you'll get like these two, two rascals here, this little black one here, a little orange one. What they like to do is grab it, especially when you're standing there watching them, and throw it out. And then they sit there and you can, you can almost hear them saying, well, come on, fill it up, hurry up. You know. And this one here is our conventional you know, store-bought one. You know, it's a little bit busted up, a little bit broken. Um, I've just fixed it up. I've got my little boy in here. But this one I'm going to use is, is when we start getting our, our kits, they can go into here. You, know, it's, you can leave them in with, with the other ones, but make sure it's not too crowded. So this is what I'm going to show you how to use, how to make today. Okay? And the most important thing is to make sure you have blocks so it's off the ground for several reasons. One, make it easier to clean. And, and the second reason is you'll have an airflow go under, which keeps them cooler. What we do to keep ours, not, not, we don't have it in there today. It's actually very overcast and it is raining or drizzling. What we normally do is get ice blocks. You know, you, you have a, a bottle of Coke and keep the bottle, fill it up with water, freeze it, and put the, the frozen water bottles in with the, the rabbits. That keeps them cool through the day. All right, well, I'm going to cut off here now and I'm going to set up and I'll show you how to make one of these frames here. Okay, here are the tools that I use. You might all think, oh, shit, I don't have that many tools. No, you don't. I have, well, let me go through it. I have two drills. Okay, one has a bit on it. 
that does the screws and the other to drill the holes. I did use just one for a very long time, drill the hole, take it out, put this in. But I was fortunate my son-in-law bought me all these tools. Lucky me. So you need at least one drill. Okay, it doesn't have to be battery operated, it can be electric. So one drill at least. The grinder. I use the grinder because I like to take some of the sides off. You know, some of them are pretty sharp. You're, you're using metal. Some of them can be sharp. So I use a grinder, which is optional. You know, you've got a choice. If, you, if you're lucky like me, you can use an electric saw. Or if you're unlucky like me, before I got my electric saw, you use a hand saw. I use both. You know, because sometimes your hand saw will give a better cut. Yeah, for that really p precise. Okay, the most important tools are your square, because you'll need to make sure everything is square. And your level. I forgot what it was called then. <laughs> ah, Davey, aren't I? Okay, a hammer. Can be any hammer. This is just the ball pin hammer that I happen to grab. Doesn't need to be any, you know, elaborate. My cutters, so as I can cut the wire. Okay. Now this is only really for when you're doing the big, the big. We won't use this on on the project I'm going to show you because I use all the wire. I don't need to cut it, but they come in handy. A pair of pliers that I think Moses gave me. So old they are. <laughs> Definitely need one of these. Okay. Some cutters, smaller cutters. They both go hand in hand. Now these are all right for cutting the, the wire that I have that I'm going to show you because it's thin. But if you're going to build a, a big one like I showed you before, you're going to definitely need both of these. Okay. Now these are the clips. Uh, and I've lost the, the watch name, so I can't tell you what they actually called. But that's what they look like, just a C. See, so just a C shape. Now, you'll have a tool like this right beside them, okay? They come in a packet like that, okay? What happens is there's a groove on each side. That sits in, you squash it in. You put it into the, and you squash it. And it makes, should make a... a, a circle okay that's you'll need what i use is what are these these um 75 mil um screw see 30 mil and these are the ones 15 mil okay little 15 mil there to hold everything in place and then we have the eye bolt to help lock so these are the tools you're going to need as i said you don't need all these you don't need this if you have that it just comes in a lot handier you don't need two of these if you've only got one it just means it's a little bit slow and changing this is a good idea but not for what i'm going to show you you won't need one Okay, this is only if you're going to build one of the big cages. The 75 mil bolt um, screws, you're definitely going to need them. Okay, these ones, the 30 mil, their general purpose, you're definitely going to need them. And the 15 mil general purpose, you're going to need them as well. Okay, so these are the tools that we're going to use. I don't use them all every time but it's just handy to have. Okay, well I'm gonna put these away and then I'll start the uh, start putting this together and show you how I do it. See okay, welcome back. This is um, where we're at. And this is only a small cage. It'll, it'll, you can put two rabbits in it very comfortably. You can even put three, I have one there with, with two females and a male. It's not too big, but if you've got the, the New Zealand whites, of California they will start to get bigger so it's better off just two um, 
or just one, you know, one male. Depends on how much room you've got as well. So what we've got here is these are panels that I've bought from the hardware shop. Okay, here in Australia, um, Bunnings has them. Pretty much all hardware shops have them. Uh, I live very remote and I can get them. So they're around $21, $22 a sheet. And this will make one, uh, one cage. Um, I think it's five, I've, I've got to buy five. Okay, and usually that's the, that's the thing that comes off them, panel mesh. Okay, I use two types. I use this, and I also use this one over here which has got um, plastic on it. You can use either. I, I use this mainly because up here we get snakes come through, and they're pretty big snakes. Um, so that's it there, panel mesh. Uh, as I say, I think it's five of these, okay, and the wood, the wood here, I can't remember all the sizes now, I just go in and say, yep, that's the one I want. This one here, um, it's a 42 by 19, uh, and on three metres. Here it cost me $11.50. You know, if you're in a, a bit bigger place, it'd probably be a bit cheaper. But I usually buy about four lengths, and that's enough to do it and have some left over. So what I've done here is I've got one sheet, okay? This is the back. This is going to be the back. So I've got one sheet. Now what I do is I put my timber on before I go any further. And what I do is if I put them on with these little um, screws here, which are these ones. They're 8G by 15 uh, 1.5 millimeter. Okay, so they're only only small. All you want to really do is just that's them there. You just want them to hold the wire on for you, okay? Or actually hold the, the timber onto the wire for you until you've got all the frame. You need to have a frame inside because if you don't, it it'll wobble and it'll collapse on you. Okay? What I use here are these clips, okay, they're the clips there, just a C-clip, uh, I can't remember the technical word for it, but uh, that's the tool that you use with it, because it's got a little slip in there, and all you do is you put them in the two little grooves, put them between your wire, wherever you want to put them, and just crush them. Now a lot of times what you have to do is you'll have to go around and keep crushing it until it, it bends because sometimes they'll, they'll hit each other like that instead of going like that and you'll have to play around with it. I don't really need that one there. That's just a little example for you. And that, that holds this all together. Okay, so now what I've done here and what I do with mine, i found the easiest way is this is 600 okay this is this is a 900 length by 600 you don't want to have to try and get that far into your cage okay so what I do is I cut it at 600 okay now what I'll do is I'll bend that over okay now remember this is your front this is the front so what I'm going to do now is, is I won't bore you with going through all the rigmarole and because I muck around a bit too much. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do exactly the same here as what I did here. And then I'll put another, another sheet on and bend it over. And this will be where my door is. Okay? All right. I'll see you shortly. Okay. So what we've done now is we've got these two on, same as this side. So now what I'm going to do is, if you notice here, there's a, there's, it's split, okay? When I put the, the screw in, because the hole is too close to the edge, it's split. That doesn't matter, okay? The main reason you have your frame in here is so your wire doesn't start wobbling around and collapse on your rabbits. That's, that's really the main reason you have a, um, you know, a box inside it, okay? There are two screws. This one will be adequate 
to, to do, do the job. I only put two in just, just to make sure. So now what we do is we have to put this on. Okay, so you get your level. And just remember, this isn't going to be perfect. Okay, it's, it's, it's not designed to be perfect. But it's, gonna, it's designed to do the job. And that's what you want. So what we do is, let's bring it up. Okay, that's, that's pretty good enough. Yep. So I just get pencil line there and I can let it drop because I know that's where it's got to go. Okay, so when I'm ready, what I'll do is line it up, drill my holes, put them in, push that down, see, because, because you're working with wire, wire is gonna bend and twist. So level that up and do that. Okay, so what I'm gonna do there is after I've done that, I'm gonna get the other uh, bit of wire and we're going to put it around here sorry for all the cuts but it's just it is it is time consuming it will take you a couple of hours okay because you've got to got to measure you've got to cut you've got to and I don't want to bore you with all that all right so I'll do that and we'll be back shortly okay so here's where we're up to now we've put the frame inside and all we need to do now is the top and the bottom. We don't need one for the front here. So I've, I've had it a little bit higher. It doesn't matter, you don't have to. You know, when, you, when you do your own, you'll make it to your designs. I've made two of these and they're both completely different. So yeah, this is just to give you an idea of what to do. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get another one of these, okay? It goes to the floor, so it goes from here to the top here, okay? That, that's just to strengthen all this. And as I said, the frame inside really is, is just a frame just to make sure all this doesn't bend and buckle and fall apart. The great thing about this is you can pull it apart. If you need to take it anywhere, you can pull it apart put it back together when you get get to where you, wherever you're going so now all i will do is i'll put three more stays exactly the same as this into here i'll put the roof on okay now when you put the roof on have it on the back there and then just level it out make sure that it, it fits nicely okay this one's going to be a bugger to me, but that's all right. Okay, so then what I do is I get these and I just bend them around, as I did with this one before. Just bend them around nice and gently. See, he's bending there. I don't want him to bend there. I want him to bend on the next one. Oh, but that's all right. That's what we've got a hammer for. So all we do... It's just bend them right around, okay? Bend this one right around. That's our doorway. And that's where we'll put our doorway. And then all we do is put the bottom and the top on. And it's pretty much all done. All right, I'm gonna cut out these, these pieces of wood so as you can see where they go and what's going on. And the last step will be, I'll show you how, how we make the door back shortly. Welcome back. So this is the end product. This is our cage. Um, it's, it's 900 by 600. So it's plenty big enough. If you got, well, we got New Zealand cross, New Zealand California cross. Um, some of my cages I've got three in. But mind you, they're under six months old. So when they get to adults, you, but one of these will easily hold two. You can hold three. You know, they're not they're not really really active but it can hold too comfortably what I've done is I've got myself a clip from the hardware shop and that's what I haven't fixed it properly but that's going to be the door okay so we just close the door up 
and we we just lock it up. As I said, I haven't put that on properly yet. Now, when you put a door on, you can do one or two things. You can either drill a hole here and a hole here and, and run a fencing wire and connect it onto that. Or, which is what I'm going to do with this, is I'm just going to get these little C-clips with the um, tool that goes with it. All you do is you put the C-clip in there because it's got a groove. You put it in, squeeze it together and then tighten it as much as you want. And so that's what I'm going to do with the door. That's what I've done with, with all of it. We've used our little bolts. These bolts here. Or well, screws I should say, not bolts. Um, a 15 millimeter. Okay, they're what's holding most of the, or all of the, the wire onto the frame. If you remember at the beginning, what we did was we started off by putting the back one onto the wire first, and then we built the frame inside. It takes five wire, you know, five, five sheets of wire to make one frame. Okay, so you got one, two, three, four, five. And this is an offcut I had had. <clears throat> All up, this cost me, uh, look, $150 will we'll pull it up easily. You know, these here, I live in remote. These usually are around about $20. I think I pay about $23 for them, for each sheet. Okay, um, so I paid a little bit more for, for my stuff. Okay, so that's it. You know, now what I can do is with my, my door, I can build a little box right along either side. Okay, little box about here. Okay, and that can be the nesting box. Okay then, I hope this has helped you. One of the reasons I brought this out is I noticed there's a, a, a shortage, seems to be a shortage in Australia of, of um, pre-made um, you know, cages. Make your own. You know, if you get wired, just put it all together. Just put the wire all together itself. The frame inside is to keep the wire from falling over, from, from twisting. So that's all the reason you put the, the frame in there. All right, well, I hope this has helped. Any any questions, please you know, leave a comment below. Um, please press subscribe, like, and share this video. I know it's not about tanning, but in a roundabout sort of way it is because you tan your hides, or you should tan your hides um, when, you, when you dispatch your rabbits. All right, I'm going to go now. Stay safe, stay proud, and I'll catch you next time. Thank you.